also in Porto and we're gonna go to the Lello bookstore. If you don't know what the Lello bookstore is, go on Google right now and Google Porto bookstore or just like Lello bookstore or something in Porto and you'll be, you'll be gobsmacked because it is one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world and I think I might cry. Like I'm gonna cry when I go in there. I actually don't, I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I love like, I love books and I love bookstores. So this means like so much to me to be going here today. I'm really emotional right now. We're in the queue for the bookshop. We just bought our tickets. So crowded though. I did refrain from buying a book. That was only because it was so busy and all the books were all tampered with and I was like, mm, I like my books new and I like, I'm not one of those people who will never touch a book and never write in it or anything like that, but I like it to be tampered by me, not by anyone else. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't buy a book, but it was so beautiful in there. The only thing that ruined it was the crowds, but I guess we decided to come in the morning on a busy day, so. I think it's like nearly lunchtime now, so. <sighs> but I'd love to come back. But it's less busy. So I think that would be really beautiful if I had that bookshop to myself. <laughs> now on our way to uh, go on a boat cruise, and then we're going to go look at the um, wine cellar as well. And I'm just walking down the road, eating a vagina lolly. And I'm getting a few funny looks. Are you? Okay. I think that's just because they're looking at you. I don't think that's the lolly. That's <laughs> very funny. Um, no, I'm just loving life with my vagina lolly. What a better way to say that you're, you're gay to walk down the road eating your vagina lolly. It's so pretty. We're just walking um, down to the point where we get the boat cruise. I'm really excited to go on a boat. It's really, really pretty today and it's so warm. The sky is completely blue. The city looks absolutely beautiful. Oh, what a good day. We're on a boat. We're on a bright yellow. It's bright yellow. that I'm gonna go sober when I get back to the UK and I'm really happy about it because I went sober before for like four months and um, apart from on Christmas day <laughs> but it's, it was Christmas day so but, um, yeah it was really good and I want to do it again because my anxiety is high and I want to make it low so we got to do what we got to do but anyway, right now I'm having, uh, I don't know, actually know what this is. I think it might be cider or pale ale. I can't even taste the difference between them, don't judge me. But yeah, we're just having a drink before going to the wine cellars. I love how I'm talking about being sober, then I'm like, we're just gonna have, go to the wine cellars and I'm just ha having a drink now. But when I get back to the UK, Thing. I'm gonna at least cut down and like not go out as much because I think when I go out um, especially with people that are a bit wild it makes me anxious and that isn't like an offense to any of my friends it's just like that's you know it, it just makes me anxious like going out with people who I know are you know may 
potentially I don't know things could go wrong and it makes me anxious and I used to be one of those people who would just go wild when I went out and I'm not I'm just not about that life anymore I really just want to like that's something like, I really just want to sort my life out and like do something good and I don't want to like drink all the time but maybe I'll just cut down first and see how that goes I don't like hangovers either but then again who does we are going to the wine cellar, wine cellar We are going to the wine cellar, wine cellar The wine cellar's called Callum Let's go, how do we get in? Oh, is it here? Oh, entrance this way into peer pressure. I think I'm a little drunk now. We were already drinking before we came here and now we're here and we're tasting like really strong wine and I'm like even when just like the smell of alcohol gets me drunk so we're like <laughs> Obrigado. Obrigado. Messi. Obrigado. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. In um, uh, Portuguese. Thank you. No. What? Which language? Um, gracias. Gracias. That's um, Spanish. Grazie. Grazie. <laughs> Italian. What's um, Hungarian? Ooh. Look at the sun. It's beating down. I don't even know. I can't see. <laughs> People look at me. It's funny. Go this way. Oh, Annie. Oh, go this way. Enjoy that. Oh. <laughs> she just walked into someone's Wait, we don't. Let's not go. Yeah, we. Why are we going this way? We didn't need to go this way. Mama. <laughs> Too much wine. The sun is Inside beating us. down. Going on the bridge. Let's go. Oh. So this bridge was built by the same. Um, who built the Eiffel Tower? But you didn't know that, and it was actually built before the Eiffel Tower. And you did not know that. <laughs> it wasn't built by him. He just designed it. Designed architecture. Is that one architecture? Yeah. Oh, look at the sun. Put in this nail. Could have put in this one. Might have. Yeah. Came back to the hostel and there's so many hills in this place of dying. We're just like <laughs> so steep man, it's so fucking steep. I didn't end my vlog last night because I fell asleep, because I had headaches. This is me ending my vlog. <laughs> Today is a new day and I'm feeling fab. This is gonna be in the next vlog. Actually, no, I think I'll put it in this vlog. What is this shit? My pores are so huge. I've got a makeup on and I look like shit, but I don't care. Okay, so this is the ending for for the vlog because I we were wine tasting and then we walked like 40 minutes home and I just fell asleep. My head was really hurting, so I used this stuff. If you have a headache and you don't want to take like paracetamol or anything, this stuff it's called forehead. Oh, it, there it is. It's called forehead. And I just put it on my head like this. And then I just laid back and I was like, oh. I couldn't even look at my phone screen because that's how much my head was hurting. But yeah, this is the best stuff for headaches. If you've got one, put it, rub it all around there, rub it all around there, rub it all around there. It just makes your head feel like, oh, so light. And it's good. But yeah, bye, yesterday's vlog. Sauce for not ending you. But that's what happens when you have too much wine, too much port wine. <laughs>